it's Elle Leary. I'm here for Merle Norman. I'm a makeup artist as well as a licensed esthetician and let me show you how to play with this beautiful wash of pastel. Spring is a time to be playful with colors like this and it's so easy and complements every eye shape. So let's do it. I'm so excited to play with this beautiful color. It's from our Soft Touch Eyeshadows. It's called Periwinkle. Now to create this beautiful pastel look, you can do it in a couple different ways. But let's first start with a very light wash of color and where to place it. So I'm gonna be taking on a number one eyes brush. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look straight into my mirror. And you see where your hood, the eye socket, you can feel your bone. That's where you wanna stop. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the edge of the brush, looking straight, and you're just going to want to put a little kind of guide here. Do you see that? And this has such a beautiful sheen to it. So just like that. Again, straight ahead. Not lifting your chin up. This is really great for somebody that has deep set eyes as well. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you can go ahead and look into your mirror down. And what I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with gentle padding motions. And I'm going to sweep this across the bottom half of the lid. Okay. And just blending those two sections together. Oh, isn't that fun? It matches my jean jacket. Okay, so what you're going to do now for this, you are going to follow your line of your eye a little bit down and in. So this isn't like a, a winged eye look or anything like that. We want to accentuate our natural eye shape. So we're just going to kind of gently make a little tiny section that kicks out ever so slightly, but not up. It just follows our natural line. Other eye, patting, dragging a little bit, making sure those two go together, those two sections. And again, using the tip of this brush, we're going to follow that line and kick it out just ever so slightly in the natural progression of our eye. Just like that. So fun, so beautiful. And since I already had eyeshadow primer on, it really makes that color pop. Now, if you wanted to go a little bit more dramatic, this is like for me what how I would wear it. It's supposed to be very soft. It's supposed to be very kind of playful. But if you want to punch it up, you're just going to add a little bit more color on that bottom lid by pushing a little bit more on that bottom lid. And it will give a little bit more drama to this look. Now on a number three eyes brush with the same color, we're going to look up into our mirror over here and we actually are going to pull this color underneath. We want to make sure we connect the outer corner with the under eye, just like that. So fun, so playful. And the way you are placing the color in the natural line of our eye, it's going to accentuate our eyes and actually make them look more um, like awake, rounded, more doll-like. Now with our Knockout Nudes Palette 1, I'm going to take it on a number 4 eyes brush, and I'm just going to take it into the lightest shade right here, which is called Moonstone. And I always like to go back in and refine the brow bone with a matte shade and the inner corner. You can see how that just, it finishes it. It gives it a little more of a complete look. And I'm just using the edge of this brush. I just popped on a couple coats of Wicked Lash Mascara and look how those eyelashes pop. This is one of my favorite tricks to do is use a really nice black mascara against a light pastel color. It just makes everything make sense, don't you think? Love it. Just to finish this off, we're gonna use Peach Blossom. I already have some on, but I just wanna pop a little bit more on the apples of my cheeks because this is a spring fresh look. So you want to complement that with a beautiful peach or pink uh, blush color. Now going in with our tinted lip balm in Rosie. 
just a quick wash of color. You just want to add a little bit of hydration, tap it in with those fingers, and you're good to go. All right, so here is the final look. I love spring. I love the trends. I love the light pastel colors that we can use. So I hope this inspires you to try some of those colors, and I'll see you on the next one. Lots of love for me to you. Bye, loves. Oh,